Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. This whole past week, I have been waking up at seven. I got up at seven, did my makeup, got dressed. So I am ready to have my coffee and start the day. I have fall music in the background on my TV. I hope you can hear it because I don't want to get copyrighted. Maybe it's a little loud, I don't know. It's already getting into that, should I turn on the other light? It's just like a vibe right now, kind of like dimmed because it is still like dark outside. That's not cute, anyways. I really want to do this video like vlog style, more vlog style, more real. I have to do my Depop picture, pictures, no thank you, I do not want to do Depop pictures today. So I have to do my packages, make breakfast, and then we're going to go thrift. I have not been to a thrift store in a while. I, I'm going to be honest with y'all, where are all the cups? They're in the machine. And are these clean? Yes. So I'm gonna take this one. I should put this one right now. I'll I'll do that later. Depop has been really lame lately. I have not been getting a lot of sales, and that's because I discounted all my items like a lot. But my prices are lower than I usually have them, and I'm still not making that many sales. And what my brain likes to do is. I say my clothes suck, my background sucks, like this is why I'm not making sales. And then I just feel like I suck, you know what I mean? So it really does affect me, it really does, not making a lot of sales. But then if you think about it realistically, I don't post my Instagram reels anymore, which that helped me so much. Um, I have not been posting a lot on social media, so I'm like, that could be why I'm not making sales. So I really have to, hold on, I need this to be measured, hold on, wait a second. Oh no. I need to start posting more Instagram reels, and I know that things will start picking up again. I'm honestly kind of thinking about changing my background. I'm sorry, but I don't know. Yeah, so today at the thrift store, honestly, the goal is to take Instagram reels, just take a bunch of content. I think it's becoming more of a thing to like vlog, do like little vlog style reels and like literally talk to the person one on one. I'm not a tree. This is little Enzo. Isn't he getting so big? He's getting so big. Can I talk about Halloween? Like what? Halloween was yesterday. Two days ago? Yesterday? No, two days ago. Um. What? This is so freaking good. Highly recommend if you're into pumpkin spice. Then you do like a little swirly. Then you froth the milk. I need to get rid of this. Cool. I'll clean that in a bit. Someone's texting me like they're obsessed with me. Okay, you're done. I hope I froth that good stuff. I almost have the coffee art down. It's a hit or miss. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing, but it kind of looks legit when I do it sometimes. Okay, good consistency, I'm feeling it. And that was crap. Never mind. Never mind. That did not work. Okay, this is why society puts so much on like pumpkin spice, ooh, Christmas, and like everything is just so good in life. You know how seasonal depression is like a thing because it's like darker out, you don't get that much sun, it's colder, so people don't go outside as much. Um, they hold on to this. Okay, this is what's gonna keep me going this season. 
Like I said, I've been waking up at 7 this whole week and I really want it to be a habit. So sleep is very important to me because if I don't have good sleep, I am going to be not happy all day. Enzo will sleep with us at night like when we're going to sleep. But in the middle of the night, he has these little, he has those little zoomy moments where he's just like, oh, he just starts attacking everything. Like he just can't handle all the energy he has bundled inside of him. I have to like kick him out of the room and I feel so bad every time I do it. But it's like, I need to sleep. He's a boy. He's just like, uh, he doesn't even care. He comes out here and he's just like attacking everything out here and he's fine. Ow! Okay, he's biting my foot. My office is a mess. So let's go in there, tidy up some things so we can start the packages. Enzo is killing my foot. We love that. We love that. I'm honestly terrified how he's going to be when he's older because he, I don't know if it's just because he's a kitty, but my other two cats I've had when they were kitties and they were never, see there he goes. They were never like biters and like attacking every little thing that they see. I don't know. Maybe because they're girls? Is this a guy thing? But I really hope it's not like his personality trait. Because that's going to be really hard when he's like bigger and his teeth and his claws are actually going to freaking hurt. It is still really dark in here. Does it look that dark? I don't know. It's kind of a vibe. Um, Levi, no one wants to see your butthole. Can you get out of here? Where is my laptop? My laptop's not even here. Hey! Oh! Oh! Your energy level's about to go times 10. It's not even October anymore. I don't know why my keyboard is not wanting to connect anymore and I have a lot of trouble with it. Oh my god! It works! The funny thing is that I got my top seller status back on Depop, so I am now verified. But yet, I feel like since I've gotten it, my sales are dead. Let's see how many items you have to ship out. It's not gonna be a lot. And I did not make much because I lowered my prices a lot. So, got my chair speedy. Got the items. A first item is this super high quality, chunky, vintage sweater. And I really love how it has like this really cool fall color like specs in it i don't explain it i sold this for 30 dollars this dress i thrifted in one of my recent videos it's just this vintage buyer two maxi dress and i sold it for 28 dollars then we have this very pretty fairy vibe express midi dress and i sold it for 30 dollars and 40 cents then we have this vintage maxi skirt and I sold it for $25. Oh. This last item is like this ballet wrap style long sleeve and I sold it for $23.
I am very excited to thrift today because it means we are going to find something good since we have not been here in about a week. Starting off in the skirt section and I found this vintage Amy Beyer perfect black mini skirt. Simple but a closet essential. This green midi skirt caught my eye but you know what I think it's too much ruffle so I'm passing. This lace skirt I tried trying it on and I actually tore it a little. So I did not take this one home with me. This floral pastel midi skirt is so cute with the lettuce hem trim. I feel like this would look so cute with ballet flats. That's very in right now. I wasn't sure about this maxi skirt. I think it's kind of ugly, so I left it behind. Then I found another closet essential. We have this gray maxi skirt. Casual, kind of reminds me of Skims. This can be styled many ways. I'm taking this. This is one of my favorite skirts this trip. We have this floral midi maxi skirt. I feel like this will look so cute with black heeled boots. A sleigh for the fall. Moving on to the lingerie section, I did not find much. This one I passed on wasn't in the best condition and it wasn't wowing me. I found this lace cami top that was so freaking cute. It had this like drawstring tie on the underbust for the snatched look. I believe this was Victoria's Secret, but I am passing. Then I found this silky maxi dress with like this floral print. I feel like this would look good if you like dress it up with like boots or heels. Then these black leather boots caught my eye and turns out they are Tommy Hilfiger. They were in such good condition. I was literally shook. I am so happy about these. They are in a size 8. They were not my size so they are on my Depop shop. Moving on to the jacket aisle, I found this fur trim Penny Lane coat. It is actually vintage 90s Rampage. Suede leather coat. Insane. I love this. Then I found this dark brown 90s Wilson's leather jacket. It was like in a zip up, edgy buckle on the side. Gave me Hailey Bieber vibes. This was like the perfect oversized jacket, but not too oversized. And the condition was literally perfect. Moving on to sweaters, I did find a couple off the shoulder sweaters, which are always a sleigh. I found this purple knit one. I'll show you a closer look in a little bit. I found this green Tommy Hilfiger sweater. This sweater actually ended up being a little fitted and cropped, but it was still too cute to pass on. I really like the green color. Here's that closer look on this one. I loved like this braided style on the sleeves and they were like flare on the end. So cute. I found two more off the shoulder sweaters. I did not like the material of this white one. It just was like really cheap, so I passed. This gray one though, I loved the fit. This cropped vintage sweater, I was not crazy about. It was kind of like off the shoulder. I don't know. I passed. I also passed on this one. I don't know. It just wasn't wowing me. I found this really good basic. I believe it was going to be like a fitted flattering fit. I swore I bought this, but for some reason when I came home, it was not in my bag. Very confused. This vintage knit sweater would have been such a cool vibe, but, but turns out it was a kid's. My head literally could not go through the neck hole. So, bye-bye. I ran into these pants by New York and & Company and I really wanted this vibe, but they ended up looking like a medical scrubs on me, so I passed. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next Tuesday.